Okay, so um, for starters, let me apologize by not making a lot of YouTube videos lately. I've been really sick and just popping some Tylenol, Neocitrin, and Buckley's in my mouth. It just makes me feel better. So today I was well enough to run out to the Learning Resource Center. And they had a computer for me. And of course, same crappy product. Well, this is one of the crappier models. It is the Dell Optiplex GX280. Yep, I got one under that chair over there. And I got one over here. So basically I have three. Yeah, three of them. This one and that one don't work. This is the only one that works and I rescued it from the walk-in recycling bin. Very, very awesome. Like I, I can't believe that they would just throw this computer out, although there's nothing wrong with it. So anyway, this thing is like an Xbox in some way. If you pick it up and put it on your lap or on the table, it kind of stands up like an Xbox. Doesn't that look like an Xbox in some way? And we all know that the Xbox button is in the middle. And sometimes when we turn the Xbox on, we will get the red ring of death. Well, I think Dell and Xbox, or Dell and Microsoft, both have something in common. Sometimes slapping the Xbox fixes the red ring of death. Um, sometimes, if you slap this Dell computer, the orange light of death turns into the green light of death. Okay, so long story short, this computer doesn't work anymore. I just can't believe that slapping this thing actually made the orange light turn green. I don't know. All I did was have it sit on my lap like this and then slam my hand on it then the orange light suddenly turned green. I don't know why but it did and I heard the beep sounds inside letting me know that there's no RAM. So I'm like oh wow it's a miracle it works. I turned it off and turned it on just to make sure it wasn't screwing with me. And of course it was. The light turned orange. And I slapped it a couple times. The light turned green. Turned it off. Turned it back on. Slapped it again. That was it. It didn't do anything else. The light stayed orange and yeah. So this one sounds like a jet as well. Imagine having this Dell and that Dell over there both running. Oh, it would be so loud in here. Holy crap. So I'm gonna plug this one in again. Or, yeah, I'm just gonna plug it in. So that way you guys can hear the last jet sound. Yep, the orange light is on.
and there we go. So that's it. That's all that works on this. The only thing that works is the CD drive. You know, you push the button, the door opens and closes. That's the only thing that really works, but... Uh, I think I'm just going to take the floppy CD drive and power supply out. Oh, and i got to let you guys know this. The CPU is not the reason why this computer isn't working. This computer over here that actually does work, um, I took the CPU out of this one and put it in that one. Fired up, no problem. So, there's something wrong with the motherboard. Like, if you go on the internet and type in Dell Optiplex GX280 motherboard problem, oh, there'll be a lot of websites with the same problem over and over again. There will be people talking about, oh, the f CPU fan sounds like a jet and stuff. So again. Wow, this thing's smothered in thermal paste. Yeah, it looks wet still. Looks like that's fresh. So, I'm just gonna pop the damn CPU out without getting thermal paste on me. Oh, there's the other one too, from the Dell computer over there. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the inside of these things, but that's what it looks like on the inside of the CPU fan. No blades, just these long ones. Hmm. So, I'll finish scrapping this one after this video and then that's it. Okay, there we go. Oh, and that learning resource building has been kind to me today. They gave me two Seagate's uh, Seagate SATA drives and they are 40 gigabytes each so there's the SATA connections my Acer laptop has a SATA drive as well and this is a IDE drive very different and this one is a 40 gigabyte as well. Uh, the second one is inside that Dell, but I'll make a separate video later on. Oh, and here's another cool thing too. The Learning Resource Center also gave me an actual Dell Latitude C640 floppy disk drive. They told me it works, so I don't need to test it. But that's cool. I'm really happy about that. It even says Dell Latitude C640 on it. The colors match too. And I've also tested it. There's a floppy disk in there. One of my Windows NT 4.0 workstation boot disks. It's the only thing I had 
lying around, so I tested it. And it works. So that's good. And while I'm at it, I also bought what's this thing called? Uh, okay, so it's oh, here's the user's manual. It's a uh, Telmax Communications USB PC camera, and the model number is WC10. This camera was only five dollars at Value Village. And it works with Windows 95, ME, and 2000. I can't believe it. This old thing working on Windows 95. And it works with XP. I can use it on Messenger. If you guys are wondering what happened to that red camera that I had. Oh well. Since my piece of crap to Shiba died, I forgot that the driver was still on there. Never got around to taking the driver off the Toshiba, so it was a total loss. And the red camera is in a better place now. I took it back to Value Village and got my money back. And used that money to buy this one. And this one actually works. It didn't come with a CD, but it came with a product name and a model number. And I found the driver in only three minutes. Wow, that was awesome. So this works, it comes with that little stand. And it comes with this clip thing so I can put it on top of the monitor. And I also got a Barry, Barry Manilow record. It has my favorite song on it called Mandy. I really like that one. And My other favorite song on here is called It's a Miracle. Whoops, I just whacked the camera. So that's really cool. This was only 99 cents. They're really selling their records very, very cheap. I'm surprised. So that's it. Um, I'm going to work on this computer and hopefully get it running. I don't know, but maybe. So, I will make a video soon about it. See you later.